Uh, hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Juliet okay, KK, your one and only fashion designer living in Lagos, Nigeria. Okay, guys, so by the end of this video, you're gonna learn how to make this beautiful skirt. You know, this skirt is everywhere, but this one is unique. Trust me. Okay, guys, please ignore their face, concentrate on what you came to learn. Okay, so first of all, I already have my skirt pattern made already. This is the skirt pattern, this is the front of the pattern, and then the back is somewhere there. Now, to achieve this kind of skirt, you have this is the exact quarter um, hip, quarter waist, quarter everything. As you can see, it's penciled. This is the exact quarter waist. For me to add to cut this on the fabric, I'm going to ha add 1.5 inches. Reason being that you are going to not, usually you saw the allowance, like you leave the allowance, but this one inch allowance for this skirt is going to be like left with the skirt you're not leaving it as an allowance in fact no allowance on the skirt that one inch is going to be with the skirt because of the kind of skirt after putting the rubber by the side after forming the ruffle or whatever by the side the skirt is going to be stretchy and if it's your exact size it's going to be too tight you might not really love the skirt but with this one inch allowance sewn with the clothes in fact it's not an allowance with this one inch added to the clothes it's going to you know be very free for you to work so cut this uh, clothes leaving 1.5 inch allowance now the one the remaining 0.5 inch allowance is for your sewing seam that is what you're going to sew on leaving the one inch like i said so i'm going to cut it and i'm going to come and show you guys because i don't have a table okay okay guys so this is ready have cut the skirt i'm using this animal print fabric for this uh, project okay this is the front of the skirt <laughs> this is the front of the skirt now while cutting this um skirt let's say for example very soon everything will be put in place when i have a table and everything my tutorials will be very well detailed because i'll do everything on the table but for now please try to understand me and if you have any question please ask me in the comment question in the comment section or on my instagram handle that i'll leave below please ask me and i will do well to answer you very very well so let's continue if you're making this skirt let's say for example you are making um a short skirt maybe a skirt um below your knee do you understand what you have to do is to add like 10 inches extra because by the time you insert your rubber your elastic by the side of the skirt is going to be short it's going to shorten it as in it's going to shorten it a lot let's say for example your skirt is for your knee length when you get your knee length length please add 10 inches extra this cloth the top material so if you want to sew this kind of skirt maybe they already get enough material okay so look at my own skirt look at my own skirt if you look at it very well you will see the lens is almost touching my foot that is because the actual length of this skirt is here it's a three quarter so by the time everything is being done the actual lens will return back to the three quarter so you have to add something both on the length both on the width please do not forget to add something to your fabric so let's continue now this is the actual pattern this is my size this is my quarter hip quarter waist quarter everything look at the allowance i added this is the 1.5 inches i added now while sewing i am going to just sew on my half inch making this skirt no allowance skirt 
so this skirt is something that you're going to wear for a very long time because you know with elastic and stuff so just half inch allowance now if you're making this skirt for someone that is not around for someone you're not sure maybe they just sent you the measurement you're not really sure please do two inches or 2.5 to be on the safest side just in case it doesn't size the person then the person can adjust be very sure like you have to be very very calculative when making any dress at all you have to be very very calculative especially when the person is not there physically especially when you did not take the measurement physically now for the back you are going to cut it normal you still cut it normal leaving this is my one inch allowance for zip as you can see my one inch allowance for zip and then this is my 1.5 sewing allowance and then my my dart also now this skirt with the way it is do not ignore your dart your zip you're still going to put your dart you're still going to put your zip the shaping of the skirt is still going to be there don't cut this skirt anyhow simply because it has all these things it's, you're still going to cut it well that is why i still added my what's it called now my art allowance now if you want to learn how to make a standard uk standard skirt pattern not if you want to learn a standard pattern i'm going to show you a textbook where i learned it from where we we learn from in the fashion school just tell me in the comment section when i see like 20 i want a skirt pattern that is when i'm going to teach you details on how to make a skirt pattern a perfect perfect skirt pattern okay please ignore my swinging of the camera i want you to see everything very very well so i'm going to go ahead to couple the skirts put my dart put my zip close the skirt this skirt you're not using a lining so if you're getting a fabric for this skirt get a strong good kokoroko fabric that will not you know mess you up ankara does not really work for this kind of skirt because it needs something soft and lush so that by the time you're walking everything is gonna be dancing 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 this way you get me so look source your fabric source it well i'm going to cover the skirt like i said and then i'll come back and show you the magic okay now this brings me to telling you guys about fabric something that really disturbs me still disturbing me now is fabric for a particular style there are styles and there are fabrics for that style you cannot want to go and make a take for example you want to go and make a flare skirt you're not going to use um, all this carpet lace that you want to do flare it will be fine though. it will still be okay but somebody's going to look at you like hey, is this person okay like so if you want to make a flare skirt there is no skirt that is ugly there is nothing that is ugly you just have to source the right material for the right style so when you want to make such skirt you have to source the material that will kill it that is why you are a fashion designer oh clap for me clap for me let me couple the skirts the skirt have fixed the zip as you can see i have fixed the zip and then this is the dart i don't know if you can see it very well because of this fabric I fixed the dart on both sides all right so after fixing this dart I had also prepped because if you see the picture of this case it is one-sided so I've also prepped the allowance or the excess on the one side there are also so many ways to achieve this dress or this skirt but this is my own and I feel this is the well detailed one now I have gone ahead to iron this fabric, cut it into two, and then did the gathers. Sorry, printing on it. Now you can print print it according to the of the fabric you have. If you have enough quantity of fabric, you can make it more voluminous than this. But this one, I used a one yard and then I cut it into two, folded it, and then printed it to this thing you can see what i'm going to do now this is where the technique starts what i'm going to do now is to pin um chiffon to this um material 
this way now this is how i'm going to spin it this is the right side of the skirt this is the fabric i am pinning you place it this way allow make sure to allow the material you're attaching fall on the right side so that by the time you turn it over everything will be on the right side okay and then make sure to come down by half inch that is where you are going to attach your band your skirt band to so i'm going to pin this place down put the second like this is the this is the back of the skirt on the right hand and then this is the front of the skirt so i'm going to turn it over and sew let me do that i'll show you what i mean the zip the dart like i said and then yeah this is it this is it this is it this is it tuck this one in tuck your chiffon in or your ruffles in look at it here this is the back of the clothes and this is the right of the clothes of the skirt you know so for you to get there are some skirts that are actually like this really there are some skirts that are like this so for you to get that um like i don't know what to call it that you know this skirt looking at the picture is not straight now for you to get that um um fold fold effect what you have to do is very simple open up the clothes this place this way and then join me this this way then go ahead and sew another half inch this way so another half inch down so you gently measure your half inch down gently measure your half inch down just on this side where you have the extension so let's do that okay so this is for easy passage of the elastic this is the elastic this is the safety pin pin it to the elastic and then oh god so this is what i'll do now put this in then pass it okay okay pass it this way okay keep passing mm. okay my able designers so after passing the elastic just fix your band hem the skirt and that is it voila i hope this technique works for you if you have any contribution whatsoever or question or you have a way you think it to be easier please let us know in the comment section let us interact talk to let us just talk about this design thank you so much for watching if you did watch to this moment please share this video like and comment i love you so much bye